Senator Pocock. Thank you, Acting Deputy President. Uh, Senator Roberts' motion talks about fear and climate change. Uh, it seems to me that the people harbouring the greatest fears are climate scientists, those that are actually doing the research, looking at what's happening and some of the projections for the future. Uh, I thought I'd read out a few of their thoughts from an article last week. Uh, I'll start with uh, Dr Joel Gerges, senior lecturer at the ANU's Fenner School. I'm stunned by the ferocity of the impacts we're currently experiencing. I'm really dreading the devastation I know this El Nino will bring. As the situation deteriorates, it makes me wonder how I can be most helpful at a time like this. Do I keep trying to pursue my research career or devote even more of my time to warning the public? The pressure and anxiety of working through an escalating crisis is taking its toll on many of us. Bill Hare, physicist and climate scientist and chief executive of Climate Analytics. As today's monstrous, deadly heat waves overtake large parts of Asia, Europe and North America with temperatures the likes of which we have never experienced, we find even 1.2 degrees Celsius of global warming isn't safe. Professor Matthew England from the Australian Centre for Excellence in Antarctic Studies. While we've been saying for decades now that this is what to expect, it's still very confronting to see these climate extremes play out with such ferocity and with such global reach. It's going to be Australia's turn this summer, no doubt about it. It makes me feel deeply frustrated to watch the slow pace of policy action. It's bewildering to see new fossil fuel extraction projects still getting the go-ahead here in Australia. And with this comes deep resentment for those who have lobbied for ongoing fossil fuel use, despite the clear climate physics that have been known for almost half a century. Uh, Professor Katrin Meisner, Director of the Climate Change Research Centre at New South Wales, says, was I surprised by this heat wave? Of course I was not. If anything, I felt a mild scientific curiosity to see materialise what we've been forecasting for years. I also felt sad. We know that we are living, what we are living through now is just the beginning of much worse conditions to come. If you don't find that convincing, uh, check out the 80-page uh, IPCC synthesis report, which is arguably the most reviewed document in human history. It's terrifying. <laughs> the, 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 the climate science is there, the projections are there, and we need a government that not only accepts the science but acts according to advice from scientists. 